And because this uh, setup might be kind of a pain to have to build by hand every single time you'd want to use it, this is where I like to put things in. Uh, I would like to make things like that are object called. I call them object level HDAs. They're not like full on HDAs where you're you know supposed to keep them in you know locked away inside of a digital asset that you created that is custom. What I like to do is just kind of save an HDA at the object level so that I can easily just dive inside of it and copy out what I need um, for future setups. So let's go over how that kind of works. What I like to do is grab the nodes that are all going to be used in creating that HDA. HDA. And, you know, in our instance, I don't want to save an HDA with keyframes on it. So I'm actually going to just delete these keyframes and have the lock selected. And then I'm going to go to perspective and say home grid. And that kind of just is going to set the default uh, for the default view for our look at camera. And then now I'm going to grab all three of these and collapse them into a subnet like this. So I just hit that little box icon that kind of throws them inside of a subnet like this. And then from right here, I'm going to right click and say create digital asset. And here you get a little pop-up dialog that will allow you to kind of save this. I can call this, I'll call this the um, uh, my look at cam. And you can see that by default, it's going to be saving it into my C users mark documents Houdini 19 OTLs folder. So basically the Houdini 19 uh, or whatever version of Houdini 19 uh, preferences folder you're on will have a little folder called OKLs in there and it'll save this as an HDA that'll load into every session of Houdini. So if we hit accept, it gives this little dialog that pops up. It gives you another opportunity to see where you're saving your uh, file to and you can change like the icon or something like that if you want to here. All the parameters are sort of set. We're good. We're just going to hit apply and accept. And now this is made into a little uh, digital asset. So anytime I want to use a look at camera um, and I, I, I want to use it in one of my projects, I could just go over here and type in my look at cam and you can see it pops up in the tab menu. So we can just drop that down and we've got a new set of look at, we got a new set of cameras in here when we dive inside. Now it's grayed out, but what I like to do is just grab these things, grab all of them at once, hit control C and control V out here and you just have easy access to that setup anytime you need it. So that's kind of a cool thing I like to do with uh, digital assets on the object level. If I know that there's a group of nodes that I want to use quite often, but I don't want to have to open up another Houdini file and copy them into and out of one another, just making a nice little simple object level HDA is pretty easy. You just make it, you know, dive inside, grab the things you need and paste them out at the object level and you're ready to rock.